Hello and welcome back in this new episode of the Python Physics Engine series. In the last episode we learned how to create a particle and how to move it. In this episode I'll try to explain how to simulate the collision between two particles. First of all we must detect the collision event. And to do that there is the intersection function. The intersection will occur between the self particle and another particle passed with this variable. So two particles can collide on only if they are very close together. So first of all, I'm taking the distance in the x direction. I'll do the same to obtain the y distance. And then with Pythagoras theorem, I obtain the distance between the two particles. If that distance is smaller than a given quantity, in this case one, then there is a collision and the function return true. But I want a function that is more general in a sense that can detect a collision between many particles particles. How many? N particles. And to do that I must assign an index for each particle. I must enter in a for loop and repeat this procedure for all the particles. So I don't only return a true, but also the index of the particles and the false variable must be returned if there is no collision. And obviously I don't want that the particle collide with itself because it is impossible if we don't consider quantum world. And so I must consider also this other statement. Okay, so now we have a function that can detect a collision, but what happened during a collision? This is the side inside the scatter function. We must use physics to understand the velocity of both particles. So we are considering elastic collision in which both momentum and kinetic energy will be conserved. For example, the velocity in the x direction of the first particle will be the mass difference, defined as the mass of my particle minus the mass of the other particle, multiplied by the x velocity plus two times the mass of the other particle multiplied by the x velocity of the other particle, all divided by the total mass of the system. With similar formula, you can calculate the x velocity and y velocity of both particles. And finally, to avoid multiple collision at time that are very difficult to manage, I insert a variable self dot is scattered that is true if there is no collision and is false if in the moment considered the particle is already collide with something. And inside the previous if statement I insert two line of code to say that the particle are effectively colliding each other. Then in the main there is an array of two particles located in two different position going one onto the other then I draw the particle I see if the particle collide and finally I move the particle and I reset the scattering variable to true Obviously here I must substitute the 0 with the e if I want to do that for all the variable. Now let's see the case where two particles are collide with equal mass. Then if I increase the difference in mass between two particles. This is something similar to an elastic scatter. So this is it. In the next episode, we will implement a collision with wall. I hope you enjoy. See you on next tutorial.